Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to show you how to get started with Electra Free from Tone 2 and create a bass sound. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so here we are inside Electra Free. Welcome to Tone 2. And we have the standard preset which says Welcome. Now, you cannot miss it here. There is a button in the middle under the settings which says in it. Click on it and then select the reset all. Okay, and now you have a default patch. Now, as you can see under the oscillator section, we have four layers. This is the first one, synth one, second one, synth two third one, synth 3, and fourth one, synth 4. And you can activate each one of them clicking on the on button, which is on the right of each of the layer. For each of the layers, you have three oscillators, one, two, and three. You can see designated one, two, and three. And then you have the different synthesis here, which is quite um, comprehensive. So because I want to create a bass, let's make it monophonic. So what it says here under setting polyphonic 16, click on it and select monophonic. You have also other selection like legato, polyphonic up to 64, okay? And here you can also select the um, acoustic processing. And if you want to change it, um, then you can do so, okay? Now, we have set um, monophonic and we have reset everything. So let's go here. We leave it as a weight table and uh, as a triangle. So as a virtual analog here, we, you have pulse uh, width. So we can change that. Let's set it there in the middle, but we can also change it as we prefer, okay? Here you have the envelope, envelope for the amplitude because volume is selected here. So what we're going to do is set the sustain down to zero. And we're going to increase here the decay. And of course you can adjust it as you prefer. Perfect. Next, we're going to lower the octave here. We're going to increase a little bit the attack because we have some artifact. That's much, much better. Then what we do, we go to the filter section. We ensure here that we're going to filter number one. So we set to one here. We have a cutoff here and we can change that. We can set it down that to, me, to minimal. We can increase the resonance. We can also change the type here of um, uh, filter and okay, and also the type. So, for example, tube, soft, etc. Okay, and you know we can set the envelope. So the um, filter envelope, which you can define here. You click here, and then you can decide what you like. So we are going to put sustain zero and decay here, uh, like so. And you can see up here the effect on the cutoff. And if you find it that is too is decaying too quickly, increase the decay here. If you find it's going up too quickly, increase the attack here, right? So now it's starting to sound like a bass. Now you can add an insert effect. So you can click uh, um, what it says off here. For example, we can say add the chorus. You can set the speed and the depth. And of course, the mix. Finally, on the master effects, for example, you might want to add a reverb. If the volume is too low, of course, you can adjust in the master volume. Now, let's have a little bit more fun. What it says arpeggiato here with the first layer selected, we go over it says off and we can say, select the pattern up. So you can see it's running. Perhaps we give a little bit more uh, uh, attack here. And now we are changing the steps. So on the second step here, we're going to select 12 for 12 steps. So it's going up an octave. And we'll do alternating here to have something like an Italian uh, bass style or pattern. So.
Changing the cutoff frequency here, you can change the type of tone you obtain. Now the beauty is that we are using only one layer, UF4. Okay, so you can go to the second layer, you can see that it's changing color. Synth 2 has this yellow layer, Synth 3 this green, and Synth 4 this red, really nice. So let's go to Synth 2, activate that particular layer. Now, for, with Synth 2 activated, we change the cutoff. Now we can change, of course, the amplitude for that. So we can say, give it a bit more decay. We activate the arpeggio as well. And now, for example, we could create a pattern, something like so. For example, um, Remember, we only used two layers at the moment, and two arpeggiators. The arpeggiato can be different per layer, and we have used only Wavetable as a synthesis, but of course you can go to Hypersource, uh, Noise Fractal with based on chaos th um, theory, sample, custom wave, and analog. And then of course for each one of them, you can further define the type of wave. So as you can see, you can change the type here and um, sample, here we go, you can load a sample, which is really nice, and then custom wave, you can load a wave, and then, of course, analog. And remember, you can also add another insert effect to that second layer, so for example, a ping pong. Wonderful. So it's absolutely superb. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and as always, see you next time. Bye.